Oida! Servus Leiden! Indeed, it is a special Viennese Austrian lane play edition sent in by a local boy from Vienna. Going by the name of D1 Alga or Dialga, possibly. Guy lives damn close to where I used to work, brings in the world record in the T22 across all servers, 9,600 plus damage done. HP buffs on the heavies help the farm. Uh, so let's move into talking about this T22. It has a V-shaped hull, which is kind of funky. You can see that lower plate is penable. In this case, we're looking at it um, via a Sheridan with APCR. The sides have a lot of spaced armor. It's all spaced armor. You can see that uh, there in the track. So shooting heat or anything like that, the missiles is not going to do jack. And you got to penetrate all that in order to damage it. Uh, also the turret, look at that, super strong. Um, here I'm showing you a bit of the difference between calibrated shells and non uncalibrated shells. So it's always, I think, useful to use calibrated shells instead of a rammer. Here we are looking at it with the, the T110E5 from the last mastery video we posted from Oikram, what it would look like. You can still shoot spots. You see how faceted and weird that turret is. It's just so trollish because, yeah, maybe you can hit some of those triangles or whatnot. But, uh, very difficult. Here it is IS7, just another heavy from one of the other masteries we featured. Same stuff kind of applies. At least you can pen the front fairly reliably. T62A is going to have some issues with this uh, vehicle, but um, I've heard a lot of people complain about how overpowered it is. It is very low to the ground, makes an excellent brawler against heavy, but it's not that overpowered. This is just APCR and a T62A, and again, showing the difference between calibrated shells there and uncalibrated, so you probably, and the heat shells, just want to roll tough with the calibrated whenever possible in all your vehicles. Uh, please take a moment now to like, share, subscribe, join our Discord. We do Seal Club Sundays. Troll me in the comments below. We're getting a lot of that lately for some reason. And with no further delay, let's roll out for the world record across all servers damage in the T22 medium. Brought to you by De Eins Alga or Dialga. So look at these, we got two platoons per side, but note also each is a fail platoon. Well, you have a fail platoon on each side, kind of funky. So tier eight space and tier 10 for all you one up, one down fans. Let's see how this pans out. I get a feeling the AMX 1390 is not gonna fare so well. And uh, Dialgum is moving into an aggressive forward position towards the medium and light channel there in the corner but also going up the hill in order to keep an eye on any TDs or heavies that might go middle. There's a gorilla right now, Gorilla Fumsein, to give it the German pronunciation. This is one of the most fast-paced matches I've ever witnessed so hang on to your hats. T-54 wanders right out into a shot, he jukes that shot out of him and uh, our hapless tier 8 AMX 1390 appears. And let's watch our champion deal with him two tiers down. Oh, it's that side armor. Check it. Sorry, Gorilla. <laughs> Gonna help you. Watch the champion in action. Buries it deep. And this is gonna be short and sweet. Ooh. Man, <laughs> tier eight versus tier ten. Wrecked. Gets the nice fire. I like this, I, I do this a lot, I don't see enough people doing it, is just leave that to your uh, team to finish off. You can move on and start using your uh, gun to better effectiveness right away. Because he moves out early, he's able to actually hit that gorilla and pursue him. Gets his shot in. And he's doing the same thing again. He's like, okay, teammates got him sorted. I'll move on to the next target. I love it. Just smart play. Just keep the damage going out. And it helps to assure the wins and get the damage number up. So he gets the track only. Still has time to get one into this E100. Work in the armor. Wow, man, just, right oh, man. Just the killer accuracy. Check this out. I mean, he's shooting the hell out of the turret ring. That's something that I struggle with. I play in an iPad Pro. I don't, I can't quite get that kind of reliable accuracy. But he's, ouch, 702 driver gets killed. 
peels up the driver, still managing to hit that uh, turret ring. And I love this, this is the no-look walk away. His uh, friendly bounces and he just sets him on fire. Check this out. Ah, oh, the confidence. Ooh, yeah. Nickname him Mark Hunt here. I think bo both of them are a little bit scared. I don't know why these ST1s... This is between me and these two bullshit guys. ...are up in this corner away from everybody, but he's just gonna have to go punish him for this kind of maneuver. I'm gonna smash this guy, finish him. So, tracks him. Now he's just gonna unleash a circle of death. As these guys deserve. Ooh, ammo rack takes some damage. This shit, no. Fixes it right up. And he's blown all of his uh, repair kits, so he has to be careful now. Nice fire, and just gonna dump into this guy. Good night. Yeah. There's his boy. Punish this turkey. I beat son. Amazingly, there's some schwans on cap for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna face the same fate. Circle of death coming up. Nice bounce, no scope. Just stay tight and close. And now it's all over. Too hungry for that final damage, WT. One final one. Takes the win, takes the kill. Wonderful, wonderful gameplay. Load the family in the wagon. McDonald's golden arches await. The mastery, four kills, 9,617 damage. Insanity. Actually making credits as well at tier 10. Just wrecking fools. Couple of fire set, legendary. Got some complete destruction of two guys too. I mean, wow. This is just pumping out the hurt. Leading the team, he did more damage than the entire enemy team did combined. <laughs> it's just nuts. Four kills. Um, again, the most fast and action-packed match I can recall seeing in forever. Just pumping damage out the whole time. Dialga, or Deines Alga, well done. Congratulations on the 2020 World Damage Record. Absolutely stunning match, fast pace. Whew, I'm still out of breath, heart pumping. So hey, you want your lame plays featured on the channel? Send them on in to meet underscore locker at alter.audio. That is meet underscore locker at alter.audio. That is a legit email address. Sending out the congratulations again. Zoom that record to... Day, Eins, Alga, D1 Alga. Thanks again, brother. Uh, maybe we can meet up in person because you're damn near next door. We also do Seal Club Sundays each and every Sunday. Information and times are below. If all the newbies are going to rush up to here and uh, get in the way from tier 7 through 8, we're going to bring the herd to them for uh, one or two hours every Sunday. Join us. It's a lot of fun. We get a good crew together, voice comms, and noob smashing. Bring your own club. You can also join us on Discord. There's my Discord personal direct contact info, and uh, there's an invite to the server below. But most importantly, kids, when you find yourself out on the field, always remember, keep it salty, Bendejos. Or as the Viennese ladies say, Pussy, pound, and Oh, yeah!